All that leaves to decide is tonight's big prize, the overall winner of the Tokar Awards 2014. Now, it's not easy to pick one car from such a varied lineup, so here's a reminder of tonight's contenders. For the second year, the Skoda Octavia took the lightest weight category. The Nissan Qashqai is our pick in the 1400 to 1549 kilo class. It's four in a row for the Volkswagen Passat estate. The Jaguar XF Sport Brake impressed all above, uh, above all the others in the 1700 to 1899 weight division. Finally, the Land Rover Discovery continued an unbroken run of wins, stretching back to 2010 in the 1900 kilo plus class. Well, as you might expect, this year's overall winner tows superbly. But it's also a brilliant car to live with every day. It's well-priced, well-made, and inexpensive to run. It's heavy enough to tow a wide range of tourers, but light enough to be a practical choice for younger drivers who don't have a B plus E license. The overall winner of the Tow Car Awards 2014 is the Nissan Qashqai. It's another gong for Nissan. Rachel Gregory will collect the award tonight. I'm joined by Rachel Gregory, Nissan's Qashqai product manager. Firstly, Rachel, congratulations on winning not one, but two awards, of course, because of the class win and the overall success of the Qashqai winning the big prize tonight. What features on the Qashqai do you think will particularly appeal to the caravanning market? Oh, I think there's a few. Um, uh, one of them is hill start assist. Um, hill start assist would be particularly useful to caravanners. Uh, it engages the ESP system to hold the vehicle on an incline for two to three seconds. Um, and prevents any rollback, so particularly useful if you're pulling away on, a, on, a, on an incline. Um, and secondly, um, traffic sign recognition uh, is a new feature on a vehicle, and it's actually got a camera in the front windscreen of the vehicle that detects any uh, road signs as you're driving past them. So if you're driving abroad or if you're in France somewhere where you're not so sure of what the local speed limit is, um, it will tell you the um, local speed limit to adhere to. Um, what's really intuitive about that system, if it was raining, for example, in France on, and the variable speed limit differs uh, because it's raining, it would also tell you what the, uh, what the new speed limit is. So a nice little system there. One thing I'm always interested to find out more about when I talk to manufacturers is how much towing actually takes place when they develop a new vehicle. How does towing fit in to Nissan's product development? It is a massive part. Uh, it's an integral part of, of uh, bringing a new vehicle to market because obviously when you're towing something, uh, it has a massive impact on the engine, on the cooling system and on the braking system as well. So we do various tests. We simulate a rolling road simulator, for example, to put it to the test. And we'll also take it out on the public road. So, um, so for Qashqai, for example, um, we actually took it on a, a fairly famous route called the Napoleon route, um, which goes through, through uh, France. It's about a 300 kilometre route um, from Grenoble to Cannes. Uh, and that has very high mountains. It's through the Alps. So tests it on really severe inclines um, and also different altitudes and different climates. And so we were towing um, the 130 PS uh, diesel engine with an 1800 kilogram load, full car loaded, full tank of fuel. Um, up those kind of extreme measures to really put it to the test to, to test its performance. Well, I'm sure you're going to see quite a few caravanners coming through showroom doors over the next few weeks, so congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So that's it from me at Woburn. It's been an exciting night, and with cars priced from £11,000 to £75,000, hopefully we've reviewed something for every need and every pocket. As for me, I'm off home to start planning the Tokar Awards 2015, and you can be sure that the Caravan Channel will be there.